The question is, once you diagnose the heart disease, the first thing is that why you developed it. And of course, uh, every uh, you had to go through all uh, with the discussion with the physician that what are the risk factors which led to that uh, heart disease. And very often it comes down to is the family history. Very strong. Although we don't have a clear cut gene for the heart disease, but the family history is very strong. That if you both parents have heart disease, uh, almost invariably, the kids will develop heart disease if they are very proactive and uh, they are, have emphasized and they have really taken care of themselves and risk factor reduction, they may develop heart disease at a later age or maybe milder variety, but very commonly they will also develop the heart disease. So besides going through the risk factors, uh, then question comes, what to do? So that heart disease, that despite the heart disease, many patients do have their normal prognosis because they can take medication, they can go under treatment. So the next question for a smart patient would be to ask the doctor that yes, uh, I do have a heart disease, now I need to know a few things. One is that what is my limitation? Secondly, how extensive it is? How should I worry about? Is it going to affect my prognosis? And what additional tests need to be done? And knowing that tests are nowadays are very simple, even angiography and angioplasty, in half of the patients are done as an outpatient. So such a low risk procedures so that do not be intimidated by the invasiveness of a procedure which will make the accurate diagnosis of the heart disease. So that basically once the heart disease is diagnosed, the, then the next level has to be that how extensive it is and what, it should, what should be done so that the prognosis remains good despite the heart disease.